All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, I took this deck to locals last night and got first place. Now, I have made a few changes, and I wanted you to see the deck um, the way that I'm going to play it from here on out. Um, I really didn't change much. I just um, took out some useless hand traps, and I was just kind of experimenting with a couple hand traps last night, and I found that none of them really won me any games, and none of them really lost me any games that I lost. Um, I went 3-0. Um, I think I 2 would I went to time the first match, I was up one game, the second one I 2 would and then the last one was, uh, uh, it also went to time, and I was up uh, two games, uh, well, no, I won the last game due to having more life points. Okay, but uh, we'll start off with the, uh, and the, uh, the side deck and my extra deck are going to be different than most people's, so if you've seen these, don't think that you've already seen this. Um... First off, the horse package. Gosh, this package. Uh, I think this is the best deck for horse. I've tried a bunch. I think this is where it belongs. Um, one happy. I think happy is the best option. Doomatef is also good. But it's very rare that you leave these on the field. Your goal, these are just synchro fodder. Um, and then two king sark. I know a lot of people are playing one, but you want to see this. You need interactions with hand traps. So the more interactions you have with hand traps that can get your play off the better. Um, this right here is your seals play. This is like, this is one of your weaker plays, um, but it, cause seals just feels really weak with this deck, um, knowing what it can do. But there's a lot of times that's just enough to buy you another turn. Okay, uh, the, the, ne the MVP of the deck is the Bestials. Lubelion, you know, if you open this and maybe a, a horror starter or something, you're, you're good. Um, Serenir, that's just in case you don't already have this in hand, you can get this on the field, in the grave, to get this in your, in your graveyard at least. Um, Magnuma, we know why this is at one. It's so good. If it was at three, I'd play three definitely. I would delete the Serenir probably all together. Maybe just have one. Um, but the Druus Worm, I'm wanting to experiment with Baldrake, and I might but I don't want to push this card to 42. I feel like every card in here is mandatory. It's a 41 card deck. I just feel like every card in here is mandatory. And of course the branded regained. When you set regained up and a couple, you're sitting on a couple best deals in the grave, some in the banished pile. Gosh, you just feel so, so safe. Um, and you're going to get cards in hand. Uh, this package right here, the chaos, I think about cutting it. And then every time I do, I'm like, oh my gosh, it just comes in. So clutch, it's like you just draw into that when you need it, or this. Plus, this is your way to Lubelion, or this. I mean, man, it's just, gosh, this is just such a great card. So, two great cards, you gotta play them. Plus, it gets you to Dispater. Also, it's a rank eight. Man, it just does so many things. Um, I'm playing two Safer. I've been seeing people play three. I think that's too many. This card is not that great, and you could almost cut it down to one, but... Um, for now, I'm gonna leave it at two. Um, the two baby dragons, man, another one like you, you get this off of this, and then you get an extra body basically. Um, actually, you get this off of this, but you just get an extra body in the end. Um, and then, depending on your grave state, <clears throat> you got something else going on. So, here's one of the changes I made I was running three of the vision, but I decided to go back to one of the Ringo Worm because. Um, the Ringo Worm has a grave effect, so if you mill this, if you're playing tier, things like that, um, if they mill you, you have some graveyard interaction uh, follow-up. Um, plus, um, it's just a good card. And then my thought was, you know, any of these three get you to the other. So, um, yeah, I think this is the right ratio. I'm still not 100% sure on this, but the Ringo Worm really feels good when you get to resolve its effect. So, plus you're playing Zombie Vampire in the extra deck, and um, which that may not always be the case. That's another one you don't really go into that much. But when you, this is another, you feel so safe when you set this up. You're sitting on, especially going second, and you just synchro off. I mean, you just go off. Um, it's just really nice, really nice. Okay, for hand traps, this is where I was experimenting, and I think Ash for sure, this format, it just it just works. Um, Valor again, it just works like everything. Like this deck has an issue with 
uh, decks that don't run light and dark. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Unchained's fine. Tier Elements, fair. Um, tier is just, you know, kind of a a toolbox milling. It's just an insane deck. Um, but I like the matchup. I like the matchup Unchained. Uh, but, but Rescue Ace, I don't like that matchup. And I feel like you just have to run plenty of hand traps. Three Imperm, again, just, just so good. So good. Um, and this is what I think I've landed on for the fourth. Um, you typically are going to run 12 non-engine. And uh, I think this is good right now. So in a bad hand, let's just say turn one, you have this and an ash. And all you can get to is a baron. You know, and maybe you have an imperm or something. So now you have a, a baron negate and a... Uh, and a big body on the field. Um, you know, even going second, you know, if you can force some interaction with the Fenrir and then link off into Baron with, worst case, Ash. Um, because that's going to be the only, the only, uh, tuner that you can, that you can get to. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, you're talking about Barong, you know, level 10. It just works out, but it's not like, it's definitely not your strongest play, but Fenrir in itself is just so good. It puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Okay, now for the extra deck, I'm missing two cards that I've decided to change. So, Red Dragon Archfiend. So, this can work as just a body if you're trying to get out Despater. Um, same with this one. I typically never go into the Scar Dragon. I mean, the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend first. I go into the Scar Dragon. Uh, if you Synchro into this... With this, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. All attack position monsters your opponent controls. Um, that's that's crazy. <clears throat> Not to mention, when this goes to grave, you get to summon out one of these. So, let me make sure that's not a destruction effect. Um, yeah, but except for the monsters on the graveyard, so it don't matter. Then you get to summon this out. Um, Baron, uh, typically just such a good card um and don't forget to set up you know sp you can set up sp and basically banish it to the if you if your opponent interacts after you've used this on your turn you can banish this and then next turn you reactivate the negate effect so that's one thing to keep in mind this is not a it's a once while face up effect um otherwise baron would definitely be negated i mean be banned um, and then the Zombie Vampire. Um, this is a card that... It's kind of a desperation card, if you ask me. Um, but every time I want to cut it, it's just so good. So you don't want to cut it. Seals, you got to play the IP. There's going to be times where IP Seals is the play. Don't come up as much anymore, though. But it's the play sometimes. Little Knight, it's just... It's such a goat. I mean, it's so freaking good. Just don't forget... Don't forget that you don't have a battle phase. Um, so you have to play this smartly. Um, you know, if you've got to remove something, fine. Striker Dragon is literally just to get to seals. But it's, you know, it's it's not as purposeful in this deck. And it can almost be cut, but there's times where you have to do it this way with the black metal to get to it. So you kind of got to. Um, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend for time. Um, I've yet to use this. I don't think I've used this any, I mean, not for time. So, but you, you really need a time condition, I think, in any deck. Um, Chaos Angel. There's nothing like slapping down a light, dark Chaos Angel. Um, it just, it's a beast. Okay, got the Typhon. There's just times where you need it, you know, and it, it's great to have. But that one may get cut. And then Hope Harbinger when you know you're going first and your opponent's got uh, all kinds of evenly, lightning storm, whatever. Um, <clears throat> just no. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's only 13. What I'm missing is um, Cyframe Omega. And I'm missing a Cell Synchro Dragon. Um, I think both of them are coming in today. Um, 
I know the uh, a self synchro is coming in today, uh, hopefully, and uh, I'll be taking this deck to a regional uh, this weekend, and I'll let y'all know how that goes. So for the side deck, Dark Ruler no more. I specifically have this mainly for like Manadium, um, just a few decks out there that it does work really good against. Droplet, I just don't. I don't like this card. I don't like the cost it has on it, but it can come up, but I'm almost considering cutting Droplet for maybe two more evenly. Um, three draw, again, like Manadium, really anything, you know, if there's a, if you're for sure going second, then, you know, maybe you don't want so much, you know, you just want some more advantage. There you go. Um, and for... Let me find this. Two lightning storm because you can't because you can't play three. And Harpy's Feather Duster. And a Cyclone. And one evenly. But I think I'm gonna go up to three evenly. I think evenly's really good right now because of my weaknesses. Think about my weaknesses. Rescue Ace, uh, the Fire Kings, which I played two Fire Kings yesterday and and one. But um even the Fire King one of the Fire Kings gamed game he played through the evenly so you know that's kind of scary um two enemy controller it came up clutch one change of heart it came up um pretty much everything in here came up except for the dark ruler and the droplet but dark ruler just um <clears throat> i didn't really have a chance it, it just wasn't a, a game and i'm only running two so i think i'm gonna bump this i think i'm gonna go probably take out the two droplets and maybe add uh, an evenly and another dark ruler no more I just think that's that's your best uh, your best bet just droplet is good but the cost associated there's there's not a card in my main deck that I don't really need so I don't like discarding um, I mean you I don't know it's hard to hard to say but anyways may keep it we'll see um it just ain't came up for me but anyways guys thanks for watching um and you could technically put this back in the deck and have another tuner but you what you don't want is a hand with like two of these and um you know no bestials and a chaos you, you just don't want he, he's a brick if you have nothing else in the hand to use him with, um, because he's a fiend. He, if he was a dragon tuner, then you know things might be a little bit different. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and um, have a great day.